Hi friends, it's Miss Karen. How you doing? Today we're going to have a read aloud and it's it's about a very imper important person, one of our past presidents. And this is Barack Obama. And we're going to learn today about the word vote. Vote means to choose something that you prefer or like best. Adults in our country vote to decide who should be president of the United States. All of the people who want to be president tell everyone about their ideas. And then the people living in the United States decide whose ideas they like best. They vote for the person whose ideas they like the best. And the person with the most votes becomes the president of the United States. The president is the leader of our country. The president helps all the people in America make choices about the best ways to live. The president is a leader of our country. In our school, we have someone who is like the president. She is the leader in charge of our school. She helps us make choices about the best ways to behave in our school. Do you know who that is? It's the principal. In this read aloud, we are going to learn about someone who was chosen to buy a vote to become the president of the United States. And I told you before, it's a Barack Obama. Barack Obama is the president, was the president of our country. And you may have seen him on television or in the newspaper or on the computer or in a book. He was the 44th president of the United States. And here's a picture of his family. Right here. That's him, his two daughters, and that's his wife, Michelle. Before he became president, while he was a young man, Barack Obama met a woman named Michelle. Barack and Michelle fell in love, and they got married and to had two daughters, Sasha and Mal Malaya. While his daughters were little girls about the same age as you, Barack Obama and his family lived in the state of Illinois. Barack Obama was an important person in the state of Illinois because he helped make laws or rules and worked to make Illinois a better place to live. We live in New York State and... Um, we have people in our state who make it a better place to live, just like Barack Obama did in Illinois. And here's another picture of Barack Obama and a lot of his fans. When Barack Obama moved to Washington, D.C., he wasn't president yet, but he thought about what it might be like to be president. He worked hard and helped all the states in the United States. He was such a good helper that a lot of people voted for or chose him to be the president. This is a picture of our White House. That's where the president lives. After he was elected president, President Obama and his family moved into a big fancy house in Washington, D.C. called the White House. This house right here. The White House is different from most houses because it is only a place to live. But it is also a place to work. In one part of the White House, there are rooms that are our Obama family, where the Obama family sleeps, gets dressed, and eats their meals just like you do in your house. But another part of the White House is an office building where lots of busy people come to do hard work every day. President Obama has an office with a big desk where he can read and sign important papers. He also has a phone so that he can talk to important people from all around the world. 
And since President Obama's office is in the White House where his family lives, his daughters um, can visit him when they get home from school. And I will show you a picture. There's his office. There's Barack Obama's office. Even though their father is president of the United States and they live in the White House, Barack Obama's daughters do many things just like the other kids. They go to school and do their homework every day. When they come home, they like to do fun things and dancing and prancing and practicing piano. At the end of the day, before they eat dinner, Sasha and Malia, Malia, Malia have two important chores to do. First, they need to feed their dog, Bo, and then they take him for a walk outside the White House. Here's a picture of the girls playing and taking their dog, Bo, out. President Obama once told his daughters that he knew their lives were wonderful in many ways. He also told them that he wanted every child in the United States of America to have a wonderful life just like theirs. Barack Obama said that he was going to work long and hard to make the United States a better place to live so that all children would have the chance to learn and dream and grow. And there he is with his family. In this picture right here, Barack Obama is giving a speech, which means to talk to a lot of people. When we learned about Martin Luther King Jr., we also saw him give his speech. In this picture, Martin Luther King Jr. is talking to many people in Washington, D.C. He told everyone he had a dream that everyone could live peacefully together in the United States. Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream was, wasn't the kind you have when you're sleeping. It was a wish, something he hoped would happen. He hoped everyone would live peacefully and nicely together in our country. When President Obama gave a speech, too. He has a dream that everyone will learn to read and write and have a happy life in the United States. President Obama's dream is also a wishful dream, just like Martin Luther King Jr.'s. He wishes everyone will learn to read and write and have a happy life. And that's it, friends. Thanks for listening.